These are the landmark Potemkin, Potemkin stair, stairs. They're important to Odessa because they symbolize the uh, connection to the Black Sea and uh, go, uh, reaching down to the sea and the connection up in the city. When you get up here, you're you're uh, at the head of the stairs. You're back into town. The uh, old part of town is here, and then uh, Opera House is just up above on the left. So Odessa is kind of interesting in, in that it's very hard to find an English speaker, and they really make don't make a lot of effort in terms of uh, uh, translations for web pages and things like that. And the reason is, is because their tourists are mostly Ukrainian and Russian. So there just isn't much demand uh, to have English speakers. The people I speak to here that know English uh, seems to be pretty limited to. It's kind of hard to turn somebody up that can speak English. Another shot of the stairs and the tramway that you can take up and down if you choose to go up and down the tram and then walk. So Odessa, I guess, was founded by Catherine the Great monument to Catherine the Great and the four uh, men that are civic leaders at the time. Right in the center square, very prominent, and also people are laying flowers on it, getting their picture taken to this day. I don't know the name of this street, how to pronounce it, but uh, this is where the party is. This is where the uh, Tango in the Park was. It's where the street's been closed off. and uh, it's, it's not really a, totally a tourist area. It's more of a, a local entertainment area, too. I think a lot of these people are local. Of course, a lot of tourists, but... But uh, this is uh, where people go to have a good time outside. I have to say, without a doubt, the busiest places I've seen, the places that, are, that have lines to get into, uh, that are difficult and, and have a lot of young people, are McDonald's. It's very popular here. Uh, there's one down by a school I went by too, and the kids were like lined up to get inside. Over in the food cart section, here where the local vendors sell, it's not near as busy. Pivas Market.
через нельзя так
see me mask here at the food market, the massive food market. Me either. Guess a version of Home Depot, all the uh, little stores that sell uh, different supplies for that you'd find at Home Depot are all kind of congregated down in this little area just past the trolley station. <laughs> 